Hey guys, so today we are back. It's Amnit and Inder. And today we are going to be talking about uh, investments into the Okanagan. So we have taken many clients, mainly actually Inder, taken a lot of clients out to the Okanagan. And a lot of people from the Fraser Valley are moving their money and expanding their uh, portfolios out in Kamloops and uh, Kelowna. So I wanted to bring the expert here today that has been going there at least like what twice every three times every two weeks heading out there yeah. and uh you know moving the money from fraser valley to the okanagan so i got a couple questions and usually uh, some of my own buyers ask me that so then i uh, just thought i'd bring it up here so first things first which area do you think is the best area for cash flow kamloops or Kelowna or any other area in that vicinity that you have been um you know Depends towards? how much money you have, how much okay. capital you have to invest. Okay. Um, in Kelowna, you at least need above a million dollars to find a decent property that will cash flow for you. Okay. Because um, you want something with a suite. Okay. Whereas in Kamloops, you can start off investing 550, 600K, and you can get a house there with a mortgage helper that's going to help cash flow and put money in your pocket every single month. Okay. So if you want to go to Kelowna, you need to have bigger pockets, deeper pockets. But if you want to start out, Places like Kamloops would be the ideal spot. Uh, you can invest in Penticton as well. That's a great place as well. Um, but ideally, I would say it's Kamloops. So for uh, property appreciation, Kamloops or Kelowna? Kelowna. What about cash flow? Both, like I said, depending on how much money you have. Okay, so yeah. both places. Yeah. Okay. Like I have clients who have, I have a few clients actually that had invested in Kamloops. Okay. Um, they're all positive cash flow. It's covering their tax for the year it's covering their insurance it's covering all their expenses and it's putting about a thousand dollars plus minus into their pocket every single month okay some are making 1200 some are making 900 some are making 1300 dollars after paying all their expenses mortgage and everything off okay and what are this okay let's talk about camu specifically what are the specs of a property like like what is a average 7,000 square foot home with a bed basement um you know three to four bedrooms upstairs like a typical home how much is that going to run you Really depends on the condition of the home. Okay. Um, if you want to put some elbow grease into it, do some renovations yourself, or if you want something that's already been renovated and it's a pretty much a turnkey property. Um, but I would say you can find a home. I'll give you a recent example. My last recent sale there was uh, a two bedroom upstairs, two bedroom downstairs. Uh, I believe it was around 840, mm -hmm. I believe. Don't quote me on this, um, but it's around there. That's how much I bought it for. But you can find, uh, let's just say, a 7,000 square foot home with uh, two or three bedrooms upstairs or with a potential one or two bedroom suite downstairs in the ranges of seven, 750, decent property that doesn't need much work. And uh, you can easily rent that out upstairs for about $3,000. A month and then downstairs you can rent a two basement uh, two bedroom suite downstairs for about eighteen hundred dollars easy okay and i'm anticipating that the rent is higher out in kamloops and Kelowna. one of the biggest things is the universities yeah the right? rent is pretty much on par as the fraser valley and lower mainland so right. a lot of people think oh the rent out there is not gonna be as high but yeah just as high as out here maybe if not more there's a huge demand um like my clients when they put the property on the market for renting um they get an insane amount of response. Yeah, it gets rented out like immediately. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. one of my clients, uh, they bought out in uh, Penticton. Right. And they put the property, they haven't even taken possession of the property yet, um, but they've uh, advertised it for rent. Right. And uh, in one day, they had 25 responses. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. So then, um, of course, it's kind of obvious people are moving their money up that way because yeah. of cash flow and appreciation and all that <clears> stuff, <throat> right? Yeah. So then, I guess, like, as a realtor, what are your thoughts about investing in the Okanagan? Do you think it's something that uh, even uh, like I know investors are going to do it, but what about first time home buyers that are trying to I've make a little a, bit more? I've had a first time home buyer who's vested out there. Okay. He's having a very hard time buying something here. A lot of times you have clients who don't want to really buy a condo. They don't want to buy a townhouse, even though you explain to them how the process of home ownership works, but they just strictly want to buy a home itself. Um, I had a couple of clients like that. So I told them, hey, if you really want to buy a house and you really want to get into the market, instead of parking your money in the bank where it's not going to grow, at least put it into the market where you're not paying anything out of your pocket, but instead it's paying you in return a thousand dollars every single month. Right. Right. So it's good. Okay. Right now my clients bought that property for about a year. Um, and soon he's, we're going to get ready to sell it for him. We're going to mm -hmm. pull some equity out from there. Plus, he's already paid down a little bit of his mortgage. And now we're going to help him buy a property out here because now the market has come down. 
Got it. So pretty much like, I guess like it's, it's safe to say that if you're a first time home buyer and you can't afford in the Fraser Valley, take the money that you have already and you don't want to buy a condo, you don't want to buy a strata property, yeah. move it to a detached home in a different city. Yeah. I think Kelowna was... Uh, Kelowna will be the, uh, number two ranked. I think it's a, a sm the smallest city. Next to Victoria. Victoria was number two. I think th the best city to invest in or something like yeah, that, right? Yeah, so that's the second best city to invest in next to Victoria in yeah. BC. Yeah. And um, the only thing with Kelowna is you need a little bit more capital. It's more like um, you need to spend over a million dollars to find a decent home out there with a suite. Um, you're not going to find anything under a million dollars. Which um, is still better than the Fraser Valley. Still better than Fraser Valley, for sure. I agree with you. But yeah. in like, places like Kamloops, you can find a house for 650, 700K. Yeah. Um, one of my clients bought a house for 670, 10,000 square foot lot. Another one of my clients bought a 7,000 square foot home. Sorry, 7,000 square foot lot with the three bedroom upstairs, three bedroom suite downstairs for 8. 70 another one bought it two bedroom upstairs two bedroom downstairs also on a 10,000 plus square foot lot for 840 now these were when the market was really hot now the market has also cooled down its prices have come down there as well right but still the money's invested money's invested yeah right? you, you can't go wrong you're not gonna yeah. lose money um you're not gonna be paying out of your pocket it's pretty much you buy it you forget about it and at the end of every month after a client uh, sorry after your tenants are living there they pay their own utilities it's pretty much putting a thousand dollars into your pocket easy. Right. Um, along with the first time home buyers, what do you have to say about the millennials that are having a very tough time buying in the Fraser Valley? With millennials, I definitely think it's a good opportunity for them because like I said, it's very hard for us to buy property out here without support of our parents. Um, even then, it's getting very difficult right now. You wanna buy a house in Surrey, you're looking to spend about $1.5 million easy. And even with that, you need a good sum of money. Um, you'll probably need half of that amount to go buy a house in Kelowna, Kamloops, Osoyas, and all those places. And um, you can buy it, go to school, do your thing. After five years, your mortgage is gonna be paid off. You're gonna be getting $12,000 every single year through the cash flow. And you're gonna come out on top and you'll be able to use that money then to sell that property out in the interior and buy something in the Fraser Valley. Back here, yeah. Or you can just live rent free, then the money that you're cash flowing from there. And exactly, if you're on rent yeah. here, you can just use that thousand bucks or 2000 bucks, whatever you're getting, and you can just live rent here free. Yeah, like, right? So I don't think rents are gonna be going down anytime soon. No, they're um, not. Kelowna is also opening up, I believe, a UBC uh, campus or some sort of UBC building out in Kelowna. Don't quote me on that, but it is happening. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of opportunities out there. Those cities are growing. A lot of people are moving out there. A lot of people are moving from here to there because they just simply can't afford living here. Uh, there's already a UBC in Kelowna. Uh, that's Okanagan. The UBC O in Okanagan. They're opening another building. They're, they're opening, sorry, they're opening up a student housing uh, high rise in Kelowna. It's gonna have uh, like 10 floors of just student housing and the rest is just gonna be available to residents. And the downstairs is gonna be, I think, commercial mixed use. Okay. So that's a new building that's coming in Kelowna. All right. It's yellow. Anyways, anything else you want the viewers to know about investing in the Okanagan? Um, no, pretty much call me and invest because <laughs> what's the point of having your money set in an account? That Absolutely. thousand, that thousand bucks you're getting extra with that thousand dollars, you can go buy that car that you really want to buy that you could afford. Twelve thousand dollars a year. Yeah, twelve thousand yeah. dollars, right? Yeah. Let's, let's just say if you go want you want to go buy a brand new car and the lease payment on that Tesla is about thousand dollars and take that down payment, go buy a property out in Kelowna or Kamloops or wherever it is that you want to, that cash flow of $1,000, you take that and you go buy that car with that. So now Absolutely. you're pretty much zeroed out. You have the house and you have a new car and you're not paying anything out of your own pocket. Absolutely. All right. All right, viewers, you guys have got it from the expert right here uh, that has done all the deals in Okanagan or all the majority of the deals in Okanagan. Um, if you guys have any further questions about investments in the Okanagan, if you're a first time home buyer and you just want some you know, information about it, or you're somebody that's just, you know, a millennial who's looking to just invest because Fraser Valley is getting really tough, do give us a call or you guys can always drop either of us a DM and we'll see you guys next time. Invest, invest, invest. Bye guys. After five years, you're going to see that your property is appreciated. Your mortgage has come down. Plus, it's giving you about $12,000 every single month. You're going to be on top next year, peers who haven't really done anything with their lives or as far as buying oh property. Oh, my God. Hasn't done anything with their lives. literally <laughs> 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 just said that, Claudia. <clears throat> see, listen to Claudia. She bought a condo out in Surrey. Cheers, Claudia. Are you going to cut that out? Okay. Yeah, that's why I said it. Okay. Um, you guys want to rephrase that last one? Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. So we'll do, we'll do it again. <laughs>